Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. We finally have the details of skills of new heroes coming this Thursday into the game and this Friday in the Miracle Wishes, Nilua and Oli. So during this video I'm gonna talk about their skills and give you my first impression, my first uh, opinion about them. And after that we are gonna talk about some features that are, that are gonna change in the game. A small, tiny features, not a, a big thing, but for the fair play arena may, uh, mainly it's gonna change your experience. So so, uh, let's begin with Nilua. This is a legendary hero from the Hidden Wave. I was expecting to get the first hero of the new faction that time, but it seems like we are gonna have to wait a bit before they release the new faction. So, another legendary hero from the Hidden Wave. This is a support, but you are gonna see that she is uh, quiet, the same as the Gilliman in some ways. She is a support and she is here to deal some damage to enemies. And on one skill, she has almost the same mechanic as Gilliman. Uh, she has a red mark. Okay, basic attack, she targets a single enemy, dealing some attack damage. Each layer of Glacier Mark owned by herself increases attack damage of the basic attack. And after that, she's gonna get one layer of gl Glacier Mark. Uh, don't worry, because she, get, she can get Glacier Marks passively, okay? We are gonna talk about that a bit later. First active skill summons four Glacier Stars to attack enemies randomly. The Glacier Stars prioritize attacking the main target, dealing attack damage. Okay, so it seems it looks like the same attack as Gilliman, right? We are gonna switch on Gilliman and try to see that quickly. Uh, that skill. Uh, it uh, shoots all the Wisdom runestones, four Wisdom runestones to enemies, prioritizing the main target when attacking, but it's written here that it's gonna switch to attack the enemy target with the lowest amount of HP when the main target dies. It's written here, okay? On the other, it's not written that it's gonna do the same, right? Uh, let's go back to it. Uh, and attacking enemies randomly, prioritizing the main target, dealing attack damage. It's not returned that if you kill the main target, then uh, you are gonna switch to another hero, but I suppose that it's gonna do that, and it's why it says prioritizing attacking the main target, right? I might be wrong, but I think it's gonna be that. And when the Glacier Star lands a crit, removes one layer of buff from the target. Another question, uh, is it gonna do the damage and then remove the buff? I think it's gonna do that because it says when it lands a crit. So in order to calculate if it lands a crit, it needs to uh, deal the damage, right? So I think it's gonna do the damage and then remove one layer of buff to the target. Four Glacier Stars, for up to four buffs removed on the target. It can be really interesting, but if the, the target has a damage immunity, for example, Maybe it's gonna be bad. I don't know for now. For every three layers of Glacier Mark owned by Nilua, summons one extra Glacier Stars. So if you read the passive, she can get up to 12 layers of Glacier Mark, so up to four extra attacks uh, using that skill. Uh, between four and eight attacks. So it looks like pretty strong, right? So let's talk about the passive. She is immune to silence as Gilliman, so, but Gilliman is a bit different. She, uh, le if someone tries to silence her, she's gonna lend back the silence to the, to the opponent. Uh, immune to silence and provoke, at the beginning of each wave she's gonna get Glacier Mark, one layer of which is consumed when any enemy acts, okay? So it's a bit bad in some ways, we are gonna talk about that. When we are gonna talk about the exclusives, you are gonna understand. So you, are, you have Glacier Mark at the beginning of the wave, but if the enemy plays before you, you are gonna lose your Glacier Mark, and so uh, you are gonna lose some damage on the basic attack, on the next basic attack, and uh, you won't have the benefit of extra attacks on the first active skill. Uh, each layer of Glacier Mark increases Nilua's crit damage up to 12 layers and will not be removed when she dies. Okay, that detail is important. Ultimate cleanses one layer of debuff from Modelize and then she's gonna deal two stages of attack to all enemies. The last stage deals extra attack damage to the main target only, which ignores shield, immortal, and damage immunity. I think this is only the extra damage that 
or he's gonna ignore the shield immortal and damage. I don't know if it is gonna be the entire attacks on the main target. It would be nice if it if it was the case, right? But I don't know. So we will have to wait and see, okay? If the, the extra damage lands a crit, reduces the main target's turn meter. So this is interesting. This is a nice skill, right? Depending on the coefficients, maybe she's gonna deal a lot of damage. We don't know. So let's talk about the exclusives. But before, She's an average hero. She, she, she looks like an average hero without any exclusives, okay? First exclusive, at the, at the end of all the life's turn, Nilua gains one layer of Glacier Mark, each of which increases piercing rate. So the first one is really interesting because of the piercing rate bonus, right? And also because when all the lies are gonna take a turn, she's gonna get one Glacier Mark, and Glacier Mark, she needs it, okay? But if, if she doesn't have the first exclusive, how? Is she gonna get some Glacier Mark? Casting only the basic attack? One per basic attack? Maybe with counter attacks and pursuit is gonna work? Uh, so the first exclusive is mandatory I think on her, so she's gonna be a bit viable. Uh, second exclusive, when Nilua dies, she casts a Falling Turbulence to the attacker for once. The effect can only, can only be triggered again after Nita revives and acts for one turn. This is the same as... Uh, how, how is he called? Okay, you have Popper who is doing that, but you have also AZ or something like that, an epic hero who can deal an extra attack when he dies, and you have also Rumble who can do that. So maybe it can be interesting to use this kind of mechanic. Imagine using a Nerade, for example, to increase your direct damage. Uh, you have a Popper too, your Popper dies, you uh, cast your ultimate on enemies to deal some extra damage, you stun them, and also, she dies and so she deals an extra damage to all enemies. It can be strong, right? To counter some enemies, some teams in championship. I think this is gonna be strong. Exclusive level 3, when Nilua has more than 5 layers of gl Glacier Mark, for every one layer of them lost, increases her own turn meter. Interesting. But, when she has less than 6 layers of Glacier Mark, she's gonna cleanse all debuffs from self and act for, for, for one turn immediately and it, it it looks like it's amazing uh, take tifia for example tifia if she's not the first hero to take the action on the battle she's gonna get an extra turn after cleansing all her debuffs right and i think this is the same on her because at the beginning you have one layer of glacier mark uh, with the passive without any exclusive and so if the enemy takes the first turn he's going to remove the layer of glacier mark on Nilua and so your Nilua is going to cleanse all her debuffs and acts one turn immediately and uh, imagine you using that she acts immediately and then you are using that skill it looks so great but you are gonna need to have the exclusive three, and you are gonna make it. You are gonna have to make a choice because remember that in two weeks maybe we are gonna have a new limited hero. So do you want to use your guarantee to get that copy? Uh, it can be a good idea because on that hero you can use epic. Uh, you can use legendary phantom dragon eyes, right? But on limited heroes you can. So if you can get at only one copy of the limited hero, maybe I don't know. It's your choice. You you all, you can do what you want, and this effect can only be triggered once each wave. So uh, the hero looks pretty promising. She needs at least the first exclusive, in my opinion, to have the piercing rate bonus and the glacier mark uh, bonuses after all the lies turns. But I think there is a nuance. All the lies turns mean you all your heroes need to play to get only one glacier mark. I think. Because if you have a look here, it's written on the perceive normally, uh, one layer of which is consumed when any enemy acts. There is a difference between any and all heroes, okay? So I think all heroes have to take a turn in order to proc, and here only one enemy, every enemy when he plays, remove one layer on your hero, okay? So great hero in my opinion support so she has a lot of speed and she's gonna deal a lot of damage probably a great hero for pvp okay so let's talk about the second one oli uh, that one is in my opinion not a great hero but it's gonna depend on the coefficient but it's a damage dealer direct damage dealer and epic hero so uh, in in my opinion he is not gonna do the he or she is not gonna do the job i think it's a she okay let's see 
Forester's Attacker Green Mark. First basic attack deals attack damage to a single enemy with a chance to inflict feebleness one for two turns. Feebleness increases the direct uh, the damage received by the target by 20%. First active skill attack damage to a single enemy. The lower the target HP percentage, the more the damage. Okay, it's return. Okay, the the attack damage dealt when the target HP percentage is no more than 30%. Something is missing here, but if you have a look to the exclusive after, you understand that if the target has less than 30% HP, then your damage are gonna reach the maximum on the skill. Passive, she gains one layer of tenacious strength for three turns after casting active skill each time up to three layers and it's, each layer is going to increase her own attack. Okay. Every one layer of self grants extra attack. I don't know what does that mean. Ultimate deals attack damage to a single enemy, increases self attack by 40% for two turns and gain strength uh, strained for three turns. It's not written that she's going to increase her own attack before attacking, right? So I don't know. Strained refreshes the cooldown of the first active skill immediately after uh, casting that skill. But the cooldown of that skill, the ultimate, is going to be increased by two turns. That's a bit weird. Okay. Exclusives. Level 1. If only kills an enemy during strained, reduces the, all the cooldown of leap strike. So the ultimate increased by strained. So you need the exclusive level 1 to remove the handicap you have without any exclusive. That, this is great. Good, good job. I don't know what, why they are designing heroes that way. It could be a, a nice exclusive in, in increasing her, her attack or her damage or providing buffs to the team, etc. No, it's just a, a, an exclusive to remove an handicap on the hero. <laughs> why not? Exclusive level 2, each layer of tenacious strength. Excuse me. Each layer of tenacious strength increases direct damage deal by self. So normally she's gonna deal more damage. And exclusive three explosive sword. So the first active skill uh, deals the highest damage to the target with HP percentage no more than fifty percent with extra crit trade and crit damage. So maybe with exclusive three, maybe it's gonna be a decent direct damage dealer. But remember that at the end of the at the end of the day, it is only an epic hero. So. I don't know if she's gonna deal a lot of damage, so we will have to wait and see. He or she, I don't know. Okay, so uh, if you want to uh, summarize everything, Oli is probably not a good hero, maybe an average direct damage dealer, and the other one, Nilua, he looks like pretty promising for the 3v3 and championship because she has a unique mechanic. She can get an extra turn if the enemy plays before, but she needs the exclusive 3 for that. She needs at least the exclusive 1 to get more layers of Glacier Mark and have some piercing rate and begin to deal some more damage, I think. And uh, yeah, in terms of damage, probably she's gonna deal. Uh, she's gonna do the job, in my opinion. So let's talk about the patch note now. So. Uh, first thing, okay, let me uh, put that on the game. First thing, feature adjustments, hero adjustments in the fair arena. I can't go on the fair arena, so we are going to stay on that screen. So they are going to weaken some heroes and enhance others, okay? All the broken heroes are going to be weakened. We have Lydia, we have Sindo, Nicholas, Pauline, Popper, Rista, Quinlan, Donald, Rebelli, Nordak, ng 3 Ogradis, Nida, Esther, and Space. They are all going to be weakened. We don't have any details yet, but maybe they are going to have less speed, maybe less damage, maybe less attack than others and so we are going to be forced to use other heroes instead and so the strategic aspect of the game of this content is going to be enhanced better and they are going to enhance Lucia, Lucifer and Madalena. Interesting. So maybe they are going to be better than others I mentioned before. We will have to wait and see but it's it looks like prom it looks promising. Then they adjusted some rules in the fair arena. Added defense protection period. In fact, in the last six hours of the um, content of the fair arena on the last days, all your attacks and defense are gonna uh, have halved points. 
That means normally if you can get 40 points on an attack, if you beat the, the entire teams of the opponent, you are going to get only 20 instead. So make sure that on the last day you are going to um, do all your battles before the six uh, last hours of the content, okay? Really important. And uh, it's interesting because for the players who are not staying until the end, if you want to do your content early, you are going to do that. And then you, your defense are going to be safer. So make sure that you are doing your battles before the end, otherwise you are going to lose some ranking, some ranks. Of course you are going to lose some ranks. And then they optimize the refresh rules of the higher store. Probably it's, it's going to change every time because normally you can have some heroes today that are not going to change. Uh, for example, if you have a Madalena and you refresh, you refresh the, the, the shop, sorry, you can get a Madalena again right after, uh, two times in a row, three times in a row, and that is is going to be optimized pretty nice then completing 10 battles daily is going to give you more coins in the fair arena so you are going to be able to have more coins and so to buy more heroes this is interesting then increase the number of participants listed on the ranking from 100 to 1000 okay added an entrance to fair arena in arena here this is going to be great because many times i went to the arena here but i was I couldn't find the, the fair arena because it was uh, written as it was implemented as an event, so it's gonna be cool. Then added time limited buffs options to the weathering cost. Uh, so maybe each week we are gonna have some different buffs, maybe on heroes directly. Uh, maybe burn damage are gonna be increased, or maybe anhygin is gonna deal more damage, or maybe uh, I don't know this kind of buffs. I think it's gonna be. I don't know anything, it's not, the detail is not written here, okay? Then I just see the dungeon effect of ultimate whale in the broken land, in the broken land, the GVE. Uh, dungeon effect, so it's gonna change a bit, okay? Then adjusted guild rewards sending rules of championship. Uh, rewards are sent normally in the settlement and now it's gonna be sell, send, it's gonna be sent daily based on the schedule progress why not okay and uh, in order to prevent yeah this is for the chat they are going to do something uh, as you can see on the word chat normally you have some spams um here for example new event get luxury set etc blah 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 uh, they are gonna um, reduce the amount of message you can send based on your account level so level 10 can't spam the chat anymore so it's gonna be nice for the chat so that was all for the video i hope you enjoyed it if it's the case don't forget to like comment subscribe have a nice day and see you soon bye bye